What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you um, an example of using a nested if statement. So here's my example, Sam's Car Rental Club. Um, the daily fee for renting a car is $55. There's a di an additional fee for renting a luxury car. If you're a club member, you'll pay an extra $20. If you're not a member, you pay an extra $30. So let's see what happens when we fill in some of these text boxes. Do you want to upgrade it to a luxury car? Let's say yes. Are you a member of Sam's Club rental car? Yes. So the fee should be $75. And it is. Let's clear it. Let's change some things here. Do you want to upgrade? Yes. Are you a member? No. So the fee should be $85, correct? and yes it is good now let's go do you want to upgrade no are you a member no the fee should be 55 and let's go no and let's just say that you are a member and it's still 55 good so let's take a look at that we solve this problem using a nested if statement let's look at the code The part that I want to concentrate on is the, the click event of the submit button. So here are my variables. I have several variables. Um, I have a variable called double user fee. That's going to be $55. The next one is double club member. That's the fee, uh, the extra charge. Well, that's the yeah, that's the extra charge for char uh, for um, per for renting a luxury if you're a member which is twenty dollars the third one is the fee for a non-member the charge which is thirty then I have two other fees or two other variables um, str answer luxury and the last one is str answer member that's where we're saving or well, if we take a look at the next section that's where we're saving the yes or no uh, answers that the user enters. So we're assigning those values from the text boxes here. The sec next section, selection structure to determine proper fee. So this is the this is the if statement set that we have and it's actually um, a nested if statement and as you can see we have our first if statement and inside that if statement we have another if statement there. Okay, so we can't get those confused. Now the first line of the our if statement, our first if, if statement, it says if str answer luxury dot two upper. Now I'm using the dot two upper method to uh, uppercase all you know the um, the yes or no. You know somebody can type in lowercase yes, uppercase no, or a combination, and we're uppercasing all the letters, and it should be come out to be all capital. So if the answer, if they do, if a, the user wants a luxury car, then we're gonna con we're gonna enter into the second if statement. If they don't want a luxury car, it ends, and the fee is gonna end up being um, 55, which is up here, double user fee, and it ends, and here's the output for that. But in case that the user wants a luxury car, then we need to ask another question. If and that question is, is the and this is the, here. Here's the question here. Is the user a member? If the answer is yes, then we will add the double user fee, which is fifty-five dollars, plus the member charge, which is twenty dollars. We save it back into the double user fee, and it'll be seventy-five dollars as you can see from the output. Else, in case the, the user is not a member, then we add the double non-member charge. And we add that to the double user fee. We save it back to the double user fee variable. And at the end of the day, we output onto the fee label text box, or fee label, I'm sorry, the text property of the fee label 
and we're outputting the double user fee we're converting it to a string and we are using the currency uh, to output the dollar sign so as you can see here's an example of using a nested if statement